where that would come in, except. The whole time, you're not going to get a lot of use out of it, except on, like, altar-dominant stuff. It's always good for a pass on that, you know. But it's usually not good to stay out there too long just because it's, yeah, okay, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and when I'm, you say alter dominant, you mean uh, as in a like the well, bottom, bottom leaves B major. Or our, let's, let's 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 stick with Stella, right? Uh, right there on that A seven flat nine. You know, end up on the three. That's that's kind of low. You know, something like that. Get in and out real quick. So uh, flat seven. Yep. And you're just, all right. you're just flat seven, that. flat five, nine, uh, short five, uh, flat flat five, nine, flat seven, three, three. So I'm resolving to the three, right? Butter, ba, butter, ba. But you, that's that's all whole time. Are you using? I guess I was. My brain wants to. Treat. Was your question to other places you use whole tone, right? That I'm yeah, not misunderstanding yeah. that, right? No, no, no. You're, okay. you're at. You're on. I just you raised a different. Oh. Or it raises a different. Open up a different can of worms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so when you talk about dominance, are you? I, I always think of dominant as a five to one relationship. Well, it can be five to something. Now, depending on what that something is, gives you some leeway. Well, the, the, the deal breaker is that if it's going to minor harmony, you want to flat the nine and the 13 of the dominant. Okay. Just about all the time. Okay. Like, if it's not, yeah. then you can flat the nine if you want to. Usually you leave the six alone. Um, but in that case, um, you know, that A7 is not really going going anywhere, you know. I think it, it's you could you could treat the C as if it were you could think of it the C what which one the third e, measure I'm sorry the minor seven C minor seven you you got an E G that doesn't work because that's well uh it, you know thinking of the C as if it were an E so you're going because to really the, the original the way the tune was originally written was two measures of B flat. Oh. The original Stella by Starlight was not. Uh, no, it wasn't. Da, da, ba, da, 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 da. Um, that's Miles did that. Right. And so he kind of rewrote it. But, you know, the original version is. Da, da, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da, ba. You know, that's, that's how the original thing went. So, you know, Miles, Miles did that to a lot of tunes. He changed the way, you know, people played it. Like, uh, Beautiful Love starts on the D minor in the original one. But, you know, Miles did it. Uh, that tune? Yeah. But the original ones, you know, it, it was D minor. I'm sorry. That was the original way it went. You know, so Jazzers got a hold of it. Miles did that to a bunch of tunes. Well, which is why he's Miles, I guess. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, he changed the way people, you know, people don't really know that about Stella. That the original way, you know, it was two measures of B flat, then to C minor. I confess I've never looked for the, the show tune version of it anywhere because. But in any case, you know, um, getting back to the A7, yeah. anytime you have a dominant and especially an unstable one in terms of it resolving someplace is going somewhere it's not stationary like in a one quarter of a blues that you could um you know you could throw a whole tone over it for a minute just for hell if you want to 
you know. The thing is, just not stay out there too long because it, it kind of gets, you know, what? <laughs> but if you if you do something like resolve it, kind of a like this one, the whole tone looks. I don't I don't even know where I got this, but start on the flat seven of the dominant. You know, we end up on that three. You know, so. Uh, if you're a uh, guy who likes to use whole tone a lot, uh, if you want to check out, is, is uh, check out Pat Martino's solos. Mm. He loves whole tone stuff. Like uh, that famous one on Just Friends. You know, he starts the solo out using whole tone. Mm. And it's just over a regular dominant. I remember the changes to Just Friends now. flat major B flat minor or some people like B flat diminished there but B flat backdoor dominant F A flat uh, D now some people like do different shit put diminished stuff there and then G7 uh, G minor C7 A7 D minor G7 G minor C7 B7 so the first starts on the four, four major. Okay. I think Todd would listen, but, and I'm not saying this because I didn't want to go down the rabbit hole. So get, I'm not in love with whole tone. Just I was trying to think of an application. Well, you're that. not going to use it every day. I mean, it's 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 all it's all. I mean, I've heard some jazz educators <laughs> say, you know, don't you know. Don't waste your time with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, don't you don't need to spend a lot of time there. Unless you're going to play A train every night and you run out of things to do. But <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely. I, I, I know I've done it. There's <laughs> bands that I've done it, you know, where you got an old guy running the band and that's his favorite tunes so, because he can play it. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Well, if, and if you're playing big band stuff or something, you know, or doing. Yeah, doing but you usually don't do. Fly or something. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's it's not a thing you're going to use every day. But uh, it's a, I always say it's a good music store scale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, if you want to, like, go sit in a music store, you know, pick up a bass and try it out and, you know, start going, you know. And all of a sudden people start coming around checking you out, you know. It's a good, that's. Because well, it's, e- it's easy to pay, it's easy to play fast on it. And sound like you're doing something cool. Just that. Well, you can do it. Yeah, just I'll, I'll take a three-note sequence. Like, see, all you gotta do. The thing about whole tone, all you really gotta remember is that you're never going. If you're on a string, you're never gonna have a say. You're never gonna have a note straight up or straight down. They're always catty cornered. Right. That's really all you gotta know about it. <laughs> Jack <Jock laughs> wise, but but you know you. Work out on my uh, pull off sometimes. I'll uh, hey, what do you think? Uh, unknown name, Fulton, California. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's huh? Fulton, California, unknown name. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's uh, hey, what's your warranty run out again? Yeah, apparently uh, that are my uh, student loans. Or oh, yeah, 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 man. God, I, I didn't realize I had that many student loans out, man. <laughs> I got several hundred last count. All those degrees, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway, sorry. But cool. Okay, that's. But you you were saying using using it for a pull off. But that well, that just as as a. I try to find musical. for that kind of stuff. 